welcome to the channel as you guys see I've got cross fencing temporary over here and up through here I've got this pasture cut off in a few pieces and the issue with that is I've only got one water source right down there fed from this pond where that bell ring is the issue with that is I don't have water sources in every one of these paddocks that I'm making and I want to show you this cow trailer I call it or cow tractor I want to show you this wagon I've made to be able to graze anywhere it's just a common wagon with a 425 gallon water tank on it the reason the tarps on there is because if the sun beats down on the tank this summer I scared the water to get too hot but this holds 425 gallons Let's see if I can sneak you under here there's the fill and looks like we're about right there on the fill line this will hold water for about four days for these cows I've got four, five cows and a bull and then three calves over here so I can go four maybe five days I fill it up, the 425 gallon. So I build the build out on the back of this wagon and I've got water feeding off that tank with an automatic fill. Uh, I think that's either a 30 or 40 gallon stock tank. And then I've got salt over here and mineral over here. Also, I took a couple brooms and put them a scratching post on it. And as you'll see, they've about wore it out they like that quite a bit so you'll see where this calf's standing it's pretty muddy my experience has been that that hasn't been much of an issue just yet but we've got probably a month or two's worth of rain in the last four days so i mean it's going to happen uh, if it's busy today i'd like to come down here and move the wagon forward 50 feet but I kind of question if I was going to make more mess than if I would have let it dry up. This wagon, though, one thing to think about when you put a 400 gallon tank on a wagon is that's 3,200 pounds. So the wagon, when I put the tank on it, started bowing. So I added another cross member of three 2x6s, and then I added two 2x6s to each side on the inside. That seemed to help, but the biggest thing I did was came on each side and took a piece of quarter inch steel plate and through bolted it. And that pretty well fixed the sag issue. My plans for this wagon, uh, what's next for it? It works really good. Um, Besides, like I said, that mud there, but if I'd had a stock tank out here, stationary, I'd had that too, unless I had concrete. And I'm thinking make it easy. You know, you need salt, you need mineral, you need water for the cows wherever they're at. Instead of having all these feeders out and having to move them, why not put them on a wagon and move them all at once? So what I'd like to do, the tarp was just kind of a quick deal. I didn't want to put a whole lot of time and money if this didn't work. But what I'd like to do eventually is put a roof across there, across the top, and some uprights. And that would be the shade where I wouldn't have to have that tarp. And then I unroll my hay, so I'd take some, some of the cores, some of the smaller three or four foot bales, and I'd put up here, even in the summertime. Because believe it or not, these cows have all this grass and all this lespedes and clover. You would be surprised how much, oh yeah, he's using it. He likes it. You wouldn't believe how much they like scratching on them brooms. But, I got off topic, but the cows, you put a bale of hay out here, even with all this green grass, they will still munch on that hay. It's kind of like you, if you eat your favorite food a few nights a week, that's great. But if you ate it every day, eventually you're going to want something different. So... Put a little hay out there with it and it just gives them something different in their diet the next thing like i said i'd like to put a roof over this 
have almost look like a house roof go up with some tin and I even maybe come off the sides with it a little bit this way and that way to give them some shade where if we're out in the middle of a field and it's hard to get to a shade tree they can stand around this wagon but one of the best things I think is going to be instead of having just the one mineral feeder over there I think I'm going to put like a lot of them do I'm going to put drop down and I'm going to put multi minerals here on the sides of the wagon to where they can go pick whatever minerals they want and kind of kind of balance their own diet one thing I've got to do with this wagon that I haven't done yet is I'm going to put I'm going to get some old truck mud flaps and hang down right here but this is just I've just built this a couple weeks ago so we're still in the trials but I'm going to hang some mud flaps down right here where the cows can just push it in uh, that's wind and rain mineral and the salt it don't hurt a whole lot oh the bull likes it but I do feel like uh, keeping a little water out of there would help I was using some fly paper if you see what that is right there and I stretched it across there and one of these honorees, probably him, um, every day would break it. So I took some metal and made a frame, and this needs to be changed out. But I just made a frame where I could stretch some flypaper across. And I've also built some uh, tree swallow houses. But we'll see how that works in the future. Man, it's a busy road today, isn't it? But that's kind of what I've built. I could come over here and put some more mineral feeders. Like I said, put some shade off of it. Put a hay bale in the front. I mean, it works pretty good. If you have a hundred head of cattle, I don't think that 400 gallons is going to be is going to work for you. But one thing that I wanted to do also is I've got a hose reel on wheels at the house. I'm going to mount on here and tee into that line going to the tank and and have some valves on it to where i can either fill the tank out of it or i can put it on straight hose water and i'm going to have a reel right here i've got it i just haven't got it rigged up yet with a couple hundred feet of hose to where if this was you know close to a water source i could have it filling up and stretch a hose out and then when I got done I could just reel it up but we're working on it I think it's working out really good I don't know why you know my problem was before when I moved cows from pasture to pasture I'd have to make sure I had do I have salt out there do I have mineral out there how's my water source and this realistically with that temporary fence and a wagon with everything they need on it this is pretty much all you need so what do you think about it? You like it? Yep. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns. If you think this was a good idea and you got something out of this video, uh, try to smash that subscribe button and tell the algorithm, hit that like, tell the algorithm what we're doing okay and that we've got good content. And uh, come back for more, see how this thing pans out over the next season. Appreciate you. Bye.